On Nationwide this evening, in the run-up to his Irish tour, we meet the man who made Bring Him Home his own on the world stage. Colin Wilkinson revisits the place of his birth in Dublin and talks about the early days. Also, Gloria, a lesbian and gay choir, celebrates its 18th birthday and the story of a West of Ireland drama group and their plans to bring their play to Cork and to Dublin. This evening we have actors and singers on the nationwide menu. We go to Drimna in Dublin first, the birthplace of singer Colm C.T. Wilkinson, best known perhaps for his role as Jean Valjean in the West End and Broadway productions of Les Miserables. His journey there was a lengthy one, having started out playing cabaret in Dublin, and he received his first big break as Judas in Jesus Christ Superstar. To Dubliners, though, he'll always be the man from Drimna, where I recently met him. <laughs> Colm, uh, this is the house that you were born in, in Mangerton yeah. Road, yeah. in Drimna. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Born in the front room there. You were one of a very ten. large family. Ten, yeah. yeah, ten, yeah. And where did you come in the family, Colm? Fifth, right in the centre. Um, six girls, four boys. So I was right in the centre. And then... Can you remember who your neighbours were or where they were? Well, the O'Donoghue's lived there. Uh, the Longs lived there. Uh, the Browns lived there. I can't remember the next. And the Walshes. I used to play with Aidan Walsh, and my older brother played with uh, um, Paddy Walsh. Mm -hmm. And my first girlfriend was Gertie Walsh. From down there. From down there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this space here was football and hurling and chasing yeah, and games. And we would, yeah. it was much bigger. It was out to here. Right. And it was just a magical place. The community were great, they helped one another, uh, they looked after one another. And okay, so there is a bit <laughs> about knowing each other's business. But you know, the, the first phone that came in, I think it was that house there, and the woman used to come out and she'd say, Come in, John, you're wanted on the phoning. You know, <laughs> to make everybody know they had a phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come in for your two sausages, your three eggs, and your and you have four brushers, <laughs> you know, it was that kind of a place, no, I'm exaggerating, but it was that kind of a place, you know, it was great crack, great crack. And what about music, um, was your family a musical family? Absolutely, huge, my mom was a, um, an amateur sort of um, singer, uh, actress, my dad played banjo, he's from nor the north of Ireland, from Belfast, and he sang, and all of, the, there was always music in the house. But it, and it was always created by us because it was, we didn't, I don't think at that stage we had a, a record player. There was one actually instance where I think it was the Free State uh, situation here, the celebration for the Free State, Ireland getting its, its, its statehood. And they had sort of a concert for the community here and everybody here performed. There was a guy in that house who's from Cork, he's a great singer, he <laughs> sang. And uh, uh, my dad actually played the banjo and sang. And I remember watching him as a kid, I don't know, I was five or six, and I was thinking of and all the people were looking at him and the attention he was getting and I thought, somehow that sort of resonated with me. Coming back to Drimna, it's a long time since you're gone yeah. from here, mm -hmm. um, but you come back once every 10 years or so. What do you get from that? I just have many, many happy memories of this place. When we moved from this place, we moved down to, uh, we, there were 10 of us, the last kid was born, my sister Colette, and we had to move. There's no room left. So we moved uh, to Rathmines to a far bigger house and a far grander place, and I hated it. But it was a big wrench, a big emotional wrench. I remember the day we had to move, being up in that top bedroom window and looking out and seeing thought I'd never come back here again and it really broke my heart. I remember I wrote a song, oh, the 23rd, it's Mangerton, oh Mangerton, I remember when we were young, Mangerton, oh Mangerton, I remember soft summer sun. And it was about life as a child on the mountainside left my red face burning. Hair was cropped, legs were fat, both arms hurt from climbing. An old black tar set the valley on fire and the grass was yellow and dying. <laughs> Get can't get back, can't get ahead, but all the time remembering the way it used to be. Uh, 
I crept in to tell my sins in holy fear and trembling in a darkened box with a face like a fox the old priest was abandoning, trying to hear through his tired ears my terrible tale and ending. Can't get back, can't get ahead, but all the time remembering the way it used to be. We had to pack and leave the cul-de-sac, with the family still a-growing. Thought I would die, knew I would cry for sure when we were going. What I left behind I can never find, although I keep on. Searching, can't get back, can't get ahead, and all the time remembering the way it used to be. Mangerton, oh Mangerton, I remember when I was young. Colm, after school you embark on a musical career and yeah. you play in bands and so forth. Yeah. But it really is here in the Gaiety Theatre in Jesus Christ Superstar yeah. that you've got your first big break. Yeah, musical theatre. The first musical I ever did was here playing Judas. Judas is played by Colm Wilkinson, musician and rock singer, appearing in a stage production for the first time. It depicts Judas, the whole thing, as being a very uh, sort of sympathetic person. It's not the real evil character that the Catechism and all this. On that uh, production of Jesus Christ Superstar, mm. you were also joined by Luke Kelly. Oh, Luke. Come on, King of the Jews. Luke was uh, my <coughs> great friend of mine. The opening night here, I was so nervous that I was actually physically getting ill in there, vomiting in the toilet. And Luke came in and gently took me to the side and pushed me on. Luke was a great character. Yeah. What are your memories of that particular era uh, and that kind of show here? Because Jesus Christ Superstar really was uh, out there in terms of musical theatre. Very theater. controversial. They had placards outside saying we'd all burn in hell. If there's any intelligence left about what Christianity is supposed to be, they'll examine their consciences. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think. It will offend people who want to be offended. If people come to be offended, they'll be offended, all yeah. right. But yeah, if you come with an open good. mind and listen to what it's all about mm. and try to hear the lyrics, it's absolutely fantastic. And a musically, a turning point, I guess, in terms oh, of yeah. music. Oh, yeah. Well, the people from London came over, saw me here, and then brought me over to London to do it over in London. And that's, so I went straight from here to the West End. So that's where it all started in the West End, from here. And also in your career along the way, you have represented Ireland in the Eurovision Song Contest. Yes. Yeah. With a composition of your own? Yeah, uh, and the previous year the composition of my own as well. He yeah, was supposed to win, but I came fifth. <laughs> Neary's in Dublin, Column. This is where you met your wife, Deirdre. Yeah, I met her here the second time. Uh, Deirdre was a PA on the Reardons. And the Reardons, uh, my sister Rebecca was Jude in the Reardons. I went out to drop her on location one day. She'd missed the bus and Deirdre was the PA and I met her there. And then the Reardons were having their annual dance and they all congregated here before they went down to Cleary's Ballroom. So I came along here and Deirdre was sitting here and this is where I met Deirdre for the second time. <laughs> so I think it was a setup myself, but there really? you go. Yeah. And Deirdre has been a constant support in your life and career right down the years. It's the luckiest day of my life, the day I met Deirdre. She's just wonderful, a wonderful person, a wonderful woman. Column, the Splendid Board Gosh Energy Theatre. There weren't venues like this when you were starting out. No, uh, sadly, and uh, fantastic when it came along. It's perfectly designed as a theatre. You have a great musical repertoire and range. You mm. are into jazz and blues and musical theatre and opera. What genre would you feel most at home at? <laughs> the one that makes the most money. No, no, no. Uh, I, I don't know. Singing, just, I, I, I like all I, uh, any music that touches me emotionally that gets to me emotionally I like to sing so I pick songs that resonate with me whether they're country and western whether they're Broadway whether they're, I used to do Ness and Dorm at one time because I loved that song even before Pavarotti was into it it's about emotion and identifying with the piece and telling the story Well, Colm, it's absolutely wonderful to have you back in Dublin in your native city for your concert, and I wish you the very best of luck. I'm delighted to be here, and thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Great talking to you. Thanks a lot.
And Colin Wilkinson performs shows in Dublin and Limerick next week. There are more shows planned for Dublin and Belfast in the coming weeks. All details are on Colm's website. Now, the Dublin-based